Hi, my name is Jan Ragnarud. I'm the author of The Ultimate Guide to Optimizing Your Website with Entrepreneur Press and McGraw-Hill out in the bookstores now. I am excited that you're here. Hey, 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 folks. Uh, this is Friday, Friday footage. Uh, this is the second one in the series where on Fridays uh, I show you stuff on screen. You know, basically it's like demo time, right? And uh, I'm holding nothing back here. So anything I show it uh, could, it could like fail badly or it could really work really, really well. You know, death by demo or demo by death, whatever you call it, man. It seems like anytime you do it live, it crashes or things don't work out. But I have prepared today because we're going to talk about how to scale productivity through email automation. And it's a simple method and it's done through various tools. Uh, obviously, there's many out there and we're going to talk about it here today. But first, just want to say thanks for coming on here. Um, media and marketing podcast. Uh, you guys are awesome out there. Thanks for sending your reviews, likes, comments and uh, and share it out in the marketplace. And of course, on YouTube and here on live Facebook, uh, fantastic technology using StreamYard.com uh, here if you haven't checked it out. And they have a new feature where you uh, actually allowed to uh, share a quick video uh, as an intro. And that's what you just saw. Um, and I put that together in Camtasia using all these tools. And, you know, things can go pretty quick, man. Uh, you don't have to make this too complex. I talk a lot about that here on these uh, broadcasts. So, hey. Thank you for coming in today and thank you for watching and listening. Really, really appreciate it. It is Friday in the house and I uh, had a great workout this morning. And man, we're getting into this workout here today. And uh, let's just let's simply just do it. All right. Here we are. We are going to be showing you how to uh, scale automation and your uh, really ultimately your productivity here in dealing with all the incoming activity from your marketing. And so we're going to use active campaign here. There's many in this place, uh, in this marketplace. Um, uh, we also use uh, uh, Keep, it's called now, Infusionsoft. Um, we have, of course, our favorite uh, for so many also out there, aweber.com. Uh, many, many here that allow you to do automations. Uh, Aweber has come a long way on this, even though it's not quite where I'd like to see it yet in terms of automation, but uh, you can definitely uh, uh, play the game there. Aweber is highly recommended at so many levels. So, but we're going to talk about active campaign, and that's what you're seeing on the screen. Go beyond email marketing with true marketing automation. A fantastic tool. I recommend it to uh, a lot of my clients. And uh, we had a client that launched not too long ago, completely switched over from MailChimp and over to um, Active Campaign. And they never looked back, man. It was sort of like, what, what the heck have we been doing here? And that's not a slam on MailChimp. In fact, that's a fantastic uh, service and platform as well. Uh, really, you need to find out what works for you and your organization. Um, and don't get caught in the shiny object uh, bit, right? Where, oh, this sounds really cool. Let me just switch to another tool, right? Uh, you have to build out a strategy for this. But I am going to use Active Campaign here today. So, one of the issues that uh, you may be facing, and we see it often, uh, by the way, here's a quick pitch. If you like any help with this, or if you like to, you know, if you like what you're seeing here today, uh, you can hit me up or you can go to the agency at chaosmap.com. That's C-H-A-O-S-M-A-P.com. And we'll jump on a call, see if we can help you there. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's dig in. So by the way, Active Campaign, I'm not going to go through all of this here, but you can just go to the activecampaign.com website and start reading up. Um, they have uh, different price points here in terms of the packages, you know, from the, the low end sort of starter packages at $9.00. A month paid yearly uh, up to you know two three hundred dollars depending on your number of contacts etc right so you can figure that out simple to start simple to test this out but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually dive into one of the accounts here I'm gonna show you uh, how we think about this in terms of uh, increasing your productivity for uh, email automation and uh, let's just drive right in here this is actually uh, a very very simple a framework for automation uh, through a webinar that we just launched, uh, in fact, just this morning. Um, and so uh, basically, essentially, instead of you having 
a email, you know, name email capture, and it goes straight to an email system with a quick follow up that says thank you. Uh, you know, here's what to do next, kind of thing. I mean, the bare minimum, right? Um, we call this, by the way, an auto responder. So it's automatic, and it goes right back out to the receiving party uh, based on their behavior, meaning what they signed up for. Uh, and you know, almost also not going to cover privacy laws here and the 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 can spam act and things like that. Uh, just to, suffice it to say, you need to be compliant. Uh, you want to make sure it's all white hat and high integrity, all above board kind of thing, right? So now you have a good connection to that receiving party and everything is set. Well, what happens on the second day, the third day, et cetera, et cetera, right? What's the logic um, that happens based on behavior? Uh, this is a big deal. So this sort of dynamic behavioral response uh, uh, thinking is definitely one that you should uh, consider implementing for your business. And it's one that uh, I'm gonna show you baby steps of here today. Uh, but you can really get kind of complex with this, um, which again, uh, you know, mapping out a sound strategy based on content and navigation uh, throughout your, uh, you know, empire uh, can definitely be mapped out and should be mapped out, but you don't have to make this more complex than it needs to be. So what we're looking at here, um, if you're coming in on YouTube and live, of course, you can see it. Uh, if you're on the podcast, I'm going to walk you through it right now as much as I can visually uh, to uh, to voice. But um, essentially, you have this idea that there's a sign-up form. You know, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. It's something that uh, everybody recognizes. Yeah, we have a name email coming in, and there needs to be a connection to the CRM system. Different ways to do that through JavaScript, through straight-up links, you know, pop-ups, etc. But once that connection is established, you essentially end up in a segment of a database using that system. So in our case, uh, active campaign. So here we have any folks that come into this webinar, they're going to be su subscribing to a list, essentially. And once they subscribe to that list, there's a trigger that happens. And you can see that right at the top here. We drew a line down to a notification email, goes straight out, gets sent uh, over to me at uh, Chaos Map directly I'm, I'm actually changing this to support because that goes to the entire team in fact if you want to send a note over to us uh, support at chaosmap.com is the way to do that uh, but anyway the idea is that you want to have some kind of a trigger and a uh, notification that goes out to you to indicate that the lead has come in uh, and that's twofold one is of course great to see the uh, the system working, but also you have, if you have a team here, you uh, can really build this out to allow that team to uh, reach out directly through phone calls and uh, a more personalized message if you so choose. But the whole idea here is to scale uh, your, you know, scale the system and be more productive. So uh, again, you have to map this out uh, to your current world. And uh, I'm just showing you a basic outline here. Uh, so the next thing, what happens after that notification goes out is that there's an email sent out and that's pretty standard, right? So notification comes in and uh, the, uh, the sort of welcome slash thank you confirming uh, email goes back out and uh, that email also, again, not going to get into the copy here too much today, but there should be a next step. Everything that you do should be a next, like what is next? Um, because I see too many emails that just say, hey, thank you for, you know, inputting. We, we received your information. Thank you. Okay, fine. Got that. But uh, hey, I expected that. So now what's next? You know, you need to set the tone for that, right? So that's what goes into that copy. And again, each, um, uh, you know, sort of automation here is based on scenarios uh, of different types. And I'm just sh sharing one with you here. And essentially, this email basically confirms uh, that they uh, entered the webinar and that there is a next step by going to actually re the replay if they didn't. And by the way, the ability to tag this through automation behavior is totally cool. So you don't want to send out emails to folks who have, you know, done what you wanted them to do versus not. Um, this is where that sort of behavioral dynamic response system can be built out. But again, here we're going straight up simple, guys and gals. Notification, an email goes out. Now, here's where it gets interesting, right? Um, in uh, Active Campaign, you have uh, different conditions and workflow. And uh, so, what I did here is I um, actually clicked on that uh, menu option right now. And um, 
there's if else, there's split, there's go to. You can start kick off another automation, etc. Uh, you can do some uh, some web hooks is uh, more of a programming bit, right? Um, but you can hit the wait here, and it's going to say wait for a specific period of time. Wait until conditions are met. Very cool. Uh, what I did is I just said wait for one day because essentially uh, what the system is doing is stop sending emails in this sequence until one day later, and then. I send another email out that basically says, hey, appreciate you joining the webinar. Uh, if you didn't get the framework for, in this case, it's about events, well, this PDF is yours. It is a free gift, and here is the link to the download, right? So that's the second thing that happens here. Now, I'm actually starting to um, build this out even further, um, and uh, we're going to be doing a little bit more of a detailed automation piece for the next sort of level of uh, uh, steps here. Uh, but as you can see, this idea that you have a subscriber is not new, uh, that you can add those to a database is not new. But perhaps in your business, you are just to sort of, uh, you haven't, I, I was going to say the word lazy, but of course you're not. You're just simply, you have too much to do. And so your attention on this has been less than what you uh, probably would like it to be, which is now all about automation and how you set up these conditions for firing off emails over time. Um, and so that's what I wanted to alert you to today in terms of increasing your productivity and also uh, attract more business to you, right? Because many of these folks who come through, especially at the top of the funnel, they're interested parties. They may not have heard about you. I talk a lot about this no like, and trust bit. So here's a chance for you to share more information and more detail about your business, how you can help them really primarily. And of course, add goodwill to the marketplace for those folks who are simply probably not going to be buyer initi buyers initially. Uh, they will value everything that you do and look forward to your emails uh, that are of, of value, right? Not of spam. And that's the key. We don't want to create a system of spam or, you know, annoying pest. I often talk about this, right? So um, here's where also you have a chance to, you know, if it's appropriate, again, based on the chain of events, uh, sending out a survey uh, of what they would like to see. Now, in this particular automation, I wouldn't do that. But uh, um, we have a larger list here. Uh, we have the chance to just simply say, based on you know geo factors or certain conditions in segments, send out that survey to ask them, uh, you know, what they want to see, what products they're looking for, uh, what some of their challenges are or struggles that they'd like fixed. Right, so you get a much better sense of the pulse of your uh, audience straight from your lists. So um, again, I uh, just wanted to show you this uh, here today. And um, it, uh, I call this Friday um, footage uh, just simply because I'm going to be showing you, like we did here today, uh, a demonstration. So really, uh, step one, consider um, getting your automation in order. Uh, consider Step two, consider setting this up for a, a better sort of triggered approach based on behavior. And uh, thirdly, Hey, what systems are you using out there right now? I mean, uh, are you using Active Campaign, perhaps? Or are you using Infusionsoft or HubSpot or Marketo? Uh, many different systems. You know, I mentioned Aweber as, uh, uh, as well. Um, you know, what are you using? I'd love to hear from you and, and find out. Uh, yeah, please add a comment to that effect. And, uh, uh, and let's see what's happening out in the marketplace. i uh, love to hear feedback from you all. I know that uh, I post here daily and some of you all have been very uh, uh, friendly to share and, and uh, you know, contact me directly. Uh, I'm trying to move up the commenting and the, and the sharing as well. But uh, really, this is about firstly adding value to you and to be able to share these things so that you can take next steps and improve your business and ultimately your life. So, um, hey, I uh, appreciate you joining Friday footage today. And, hey, I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Take it easy, guys and gals. Hi, my name is Jan Rangrud. I'm the author of The Ultimate Guide to Optimizing Your Website with Entrepreneur Press and McGraw-Hill out in the bookstores now. I am excited that you're here.